click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends isn't it enough to take a product to have a product for the customer to have it appealing to have it with a good quality at a reasonable price the answer is no because at the end of the day what you get out of this is satisfied customers how do you measure whether these satisfied customers are really loyal to you or whether they'll keep coming back to you as loyal customers satisfied customers and loyal customers are two different kinds of customers that we've also spoken about in my last videos but how do we make sure that every satisfied customer is a loyal customer of our organization that's something which is very very important here are some few tips which i would recommend to measure your customer satisfaction rate to understand or to make a difference to make them your loyal customers forever understanding your customer is most important as i keep saying this but how do you turn your satisfied customers into loyal customers make them feel special that's the most important thing now this is something also which can turn a customer service into customer delight now when you say make them special is keeping an account of your customers each and every necessity and giving them something extra like an extra frisbee package which would help them to be satisfied at the end of the day and more than satisfaction level that's when we say that customers are delighted now that's how we create a wow factor now to give you an example that you've given a service to your customer and then you give him a lift or a drop until up till the customer's home if the customer is a little aged or an old person he would appreciate that and they, that would be sometimes where the customer would never go back to any other competitor now that's where the customer would show 100% loyalty towards you and your organization because that's something that he's loved that's something he can never forget we can create a environment which a customer never ever forgets in his life he would always say i went to this particular place and that's amazing and that's what keep him coming back to that place in return what you get is a high profit of the company and what you've spent is hardly anything so say you spent just a few amount of rupees extra over and above the service to drop that customer home maybe a taxi bill or a drop facility but what you earn is a lot of profit in future because that customer keeps giving you a lot of services keeps giving you referrals and i don't need to tell you what all there are a lot of things possible so make your customer happy make your customer feel extremely special that's the first and the foremost step of understanding every customer's expectations towards an organization providing a familiar experience now many customers like to come to only one face when they come to any organization i am one of the customers where i go to a place and i always ask for that one person whom i have always seen or spoken to because i feel comfortable if you're familiar with some faces as a person definitely would like to get back to those faces because they have made you feel the most satisfied and relaxed whenever you've gone to that organization that's one thing which i always say that familiarity is something which makes you feel at home every customer should feel like a guest when he comes to an organization and the guest kind of feeling can only come when they are treated at home and they would like to see people or faces who are familiar now that's something where every internal customer should remember every employee should remember that this is the customer that i treated last time and if that approach of going to back to those customer again and saying a greeting or welcoming with a very warm welcoming approach they would really be satisfied everyone have the habit of coming getting back to our same houses do we go to anyone else's houses and stay overnight sometimes yes for parties but what about every day you would definitely like to come to our home sweet home back that's because we're familiar with it imagine a customer who feels familiar with an organization and feels at home when they're talking to a person feels like a family member amazing what satisfaction rate you would give more than that it's all about after service when a customer comes into your organization you make him under, you understand his requirement make him feel so much comfortable in the organization see to it that all the requirements are satisfied and then you send him home very happily but what about the after service after the customer has gone home now here is something where the customer's delight is what you can affect the most 
there's a lot of impact when you call a customer once he reaches home to see that whether he's used the product and whether he's liked your service how or take the feedbacks from the customer to give you an example if a customer has taken a medicines for his skin treatment and you can call the customer after a week to understand what the how the customer is doing is he doing well is he enjoying his uh, skin pattern is he is there made a difference is is it effective would he like to come back again when would you place his next appointment that is something which is a customer delight that's the after service magic and the companies the organization who are great at doing the after service services are amazing follow up givers and that's where the customer satisfaction turns into loyal customers now imagine if a customer is called after every 10 day of the service or every one week after service as per the requirement the customer would feel so happy that oh they're not only taken care when i was in they've also taken care when i'm at my home just think about an idea of a customer coming to you the customer goes home back you lay out a manual or you lay out a article to the customer of how he can improve on what he's done like an extra tip along with taking your products and services and imagine every time he reads your manual or every time he reads that article he remembers about you that what you've done a difference to his life that's something where the customer would really really get back to you and that customer would turn into a loyal customer so understanding your customer understanding the best framework of his mindset understanding how better you can get having always a feedback towards your customer or a gesture of taking the customer well or taking care of a very welcoming and happy approach of welcoming a customer like a guest now these all things would add up to your measures to continuously prove yourself into a better customer service organization friends the other way of measuring your customer satisfaction level is also to commit wholeheartedly now when i say commit wholeheartedly many a times the customer comes in and you commit that you'll give a call to the customer because right now the appointments are not available so you'll give a call back to the customer after two days and see to it that he's accommodated in the appointment list and we forget because you've not set a reminder after two days to call that particular customer and we are definitely working very hard we are stressed in whatever we do we handle 100 customers each day now at this point of time where our strategy should have been to get back to each and every customer on time to get back to the maximum service after service quality here is something that we've lacked on is we've not committed wholeheartedly to the customer and we've not reached up to the commitment levels there has to be a strategy in every organization of a very strong follow-up friends follow-up is the most important because we shouldn't as a organization or as employees be very happy of customers coming and taking doing some purchase at that even point of time and going away that's very normal and natural but what about your customer retention are they getting back to you is something to be measured that's something very important and without that measurement you cannot measure how much have you scored on your customer satisfaction rate your customer satisfaction rate completely depends on your retention and completely depends on the customer delight for the retention now being a part of customer service training organizations i would also understand that the lack of training at a given point of time would be lack of follow-ups done by for the customer friends you will not believe the customer service team is only set for taking feedbacks doing the follow-ups seeing to it that the customer is retained it is retained to a company back and seeing to it he sustains for a very long time that's what you really mean by customer satisfaction that's what you really mean by customer service it's not about a customer coming in taking the service taking your product purchasing and going back that's not really what we mean by customer service the after service is the most important factor to understand whether you've wholeheartedly committed to that customer there are a lot of models which are set up especially the cano model which helps us to understand the customer satisfaction retention rate now why are these models in place we will definitely be talking in detail about these models i'll also help you out to understand how they run why are all the, these models and these kinds of formats and strategies in place they are there because we need to understand how best can we get at our customer satisfaction rate and retention rate so friends to help us understand get better to help us improve ourselves better every day 
these are some strategies which are set strategies and standard strategies which we just have to take and follow and that's how the things can be done and processed friends there are a lot of corporates that i go and i see something very surprising and very nice and good surprise is where a customer satisfaction rate or a window is definitely sure to be there but individual customer satisfaction rate or individual customer satisfaction scoreboard is something which is very very unknown to a lot of organizations it's very important as an individual what do you do because everything starts from an individual so as an individual customer service agent how do you score yourself or how do you customer score you at your customer service skills is something which adds on to the entire organization's satisfaction rate so every customer would be free to give opinions on each customer service agent rather than the entire product servicing or anything extra of course that's there that follows and as a person you can score yourself each time you meet a customer on how well have you treated that customer so you give a score to yourself that's amazing so suppose if today i meet 10 customers and i feel that out of those 10 three interactions were amazing i would rate myself five the maximum and two were okay so i would rate myself maybe three and a half four and maybe the other ones were not that great and this doesn't really depend on the purchase of the customer that has been done it depends on how well could you connect it depends on whether the customer has taken an appointment it depends on whether the customer will feels like coming back because every customer doesn't really step in for a purchase they might step in for a follow-up they might step in for just an inquiry or an information but what impact have you made on them at the end of the day is something that is committed and this is what i call commit wholeheartedly this also helps us to measure the level of customer satisfaction measures to achieve customer satisfaction is also measuring success so when we talk about measuring success there are a lot of organizations that i see that have these csat scores to be followed very strongly now csat is something where it reports measures on your customer satisfaction rate in various ways so it's not only your customer satisfaction rate is also rating of the customer on your service on your product it's also rating the retention it's also retaining sustainability it's also retaining each and every success measure that you need to have csat scores help us to understand each and every parameter of getting better and better every day towards reaching to our commitment towards that customer it also helps us to understanding what is the problem solving solution over all the issues that the customer faces so it's also a problem solving as barometer or problem solving rate card so every customer not necessarily comes with an issue or a problem it comes with an inquiry as well so all put together customer satisfaction csat scores is something which helps you to get out of all your unknown parameters and get to focus on improving betterment each and every day every customer's requirement is different every customer's ask is different needs are different and how do you help him to get through his best satisfaction level is what a csat score helps you to do so not to be shocked when many organizations do their level best get their heads off to understand and do whatever they can to take the satisfaction score up to 100 but it's very sad at times when the scores come to 65 and 70 they feel that oh, there was something lacking so friends all the tips if followed of how to get into customer service right from the external internal customers and all of that i'm sure by following all of this taking the right measures would help you to reach up to the customer satisfaction level at least i would say customer satisfaction level is at least kind of a level because after which is retention after which is sustainability after which is delight so it's very important friends to understand that your satisfaction ratio is what because based on that we could understand how much will be the sustainability of that particular customer to become a loyal customer of your organization customer loyalty is tougher than customer satisfaction i would rate it or say it this way because customer satisfaction is something which we feel one day or that day when the customer steps in but loyalty is measured by the customer's retention and by the customer's footsteps back to your organization and that completely depends on your attitude 
of treating the customer in the right way. If you've not been or not given your best service or you've not done a follow up, then the customer definitely cannot come back to you or you cannot retain the services. At the same time, you cannot even have a delightful feeling about the customer being around you. So for me, customer's loyalty is more tougher than customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction, I would say, is the first step of improvement. But customer loyalty is something which is proven that you've improved in all your customer servicing skills. Because that makes your customer come back to you whenever you call the customer or whenever customer needs, feel the need of getting back to you. Now, there is also a very positive sign of customer coming back to you is customers doesn't go anywhere else. So your competitors are someone who are not there around you if you give them 100% customer satisfaction and your rate of retention would go higher. And once the rate of retention is higher, sustainability is definitely bound to happen. That's how you create loyal customers. So friends, this was all about measuring of how to achieve your customer satisfaction goal is by creating all these factors, making them work live into your organization, into personally yourself. I hope that once you follow this, once you understand this and make it practically into practice, you will be able to measure your customer satisfaction ratio and it would be 100%. So I wish you all the best to take this ahead, move it ahead and take it forward, bring it into practice rather than just thinking over it. Start it today, right now and get a 100% customer satisfaction ratio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay tuned to Ikira and keep subscribing to our channel. Thank you.